And welcome back, everyone. This is going to be the last recording in this session. Last episode, we utterly destroyed the wall of flesh. I went back off camera and farmed him a little bit so I could show off all these cool things. There's the hasty sorcerer's emblem, which will give us 15% increased magic damage for the mages. For the range people, there's the wild ranger emblem, which will give you 50% range damage. And then there's the Wild Berserker, which will let you get the 50% attack, obviously. And now we're going to take a little tour of our world. Because when you defeat the, er, uh, Wall of Flesh, stuff happens. And by stuff, I mean the corruption goes absolutely nutty and becomes super powerful. And new enemies like, say... Like the corrupt slime starts spawning up. Yeah, hard mode immediately drops you in the fire and goes swim, boo, swim. The reason we're coming to the corruption is because we want to get at the stuff that's down here. Yes, those altars, remember those? Yeah. Well, they now have a use. We can break them now with the pwn hammer. Yeah, yes. Without the pwn hammer, you can't do this. You could be hard mode, but without the pwn hammer, you can't. Your world has been blessed with cobalt. Yes, the first. The entry level, uh, hard mode R. Snail speed. Ugh. Now we're going to break as many of these as we can. Mythal and Adamantite, the second level and final tier. More Cobalt. Now every time you break these, more of the ore spawns in, but progressively less and less. So, so that means you want to break as many as possible. Because there isn't much to begin with. And every little bit counts. And as you can see, we now have a World Feeder. As you can see, the corruption has gotten a considerable. Upgrade. So now I feel like it's quite like you're starting over again. My, even my molten armor isn't saving me. Yeah, as you can see, this isn't doing so hot. But now there's a bunch of adamant. Adamantium, which is the best, Cobalt, which is the weakest, and Mithra, which is the second best, all over the world. So now we want to go and find it, because we can make some really cool items with that stuff. Anything, by the way, any set, there's several sets you can make with it, all of them, because you could specialize yourself to range or magic or attack, which is very cool. That down there, that's Cobalt. Finding it, yes, more cobalt, yes. That's why you want to break as many of those, is because then they'll start spawning everywhere. And as you can see, my tunnel has been turned into the underground hollow. Jolly good. The hollow is like the reverse of the corruption. It's bright, it's pretty, but like the corruption, it is lethal to a capital L. It is lethal to the last degree. I'm taking it lightly we'll just end up with you dead but however the underground corruption and the underground hollow are necessary because they will they hold some of the best materials to make items with excuse me while like oh 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 yes as you can see these fools hit my jacks And now we're going to want all the cobalt we can get, all the mithril and adamantite. Cobalt you can make from anything so long as you have a hell forge. But for mithril, you're going to need enough mithril to make a mithril anvil. Which you'll only need a few little inks of. So it won't be that hard. But adamantite, you need an adamantite forge. And that's quite costly. That's a fairy down there, I'm pretty sure. Yes, the underground... Corruption is quite deadly, and any- Yeah, that's a fairy! I'm not going in there for it, but... 
More cobalt! Yeah! All the cobalt! All of it! Ah! Chaos Elemental! Yes, that's another enemy of the hard mode! They are the more dangerous! Because as you can see, like Enderman from Minecraft, they will port all over the place. And so long as you're not you can keep hitting them, they can't teleport. That's a chaos bat. We want to stay away. Yes, as you can see, hard mode literally goes, it's on. It's like the game has literally had, has stood all it could stand from you and now wants you dead. We want this too. This is the crystal. Which we can break with our hammer or by breaking the block below them. Those are vital in making some very cool weaponry. If you have a face blade, keep it. Because now in hard mode, you can make it into a face saber. The fuck was that? I really don't know what that was, folks, so I'm a little nervous now. Yes, more crystals! All the crystals! So many bats. So many. Yes, souls of life. The next equip. Those are essential. If you had the choice between about to lose a soul of light or a crystal, go for the soul of light. Always the soul of light. The soul of light is in some cases worth your life because you can make some very pro crud with it. Crystals grow like plants do, so uh, if you think you've stripped your cave, uh, go off and do something else for a while. You'll more than likely get more later. You could also make some very cool spells, but you need to find uh, the wizard merchant now. Yes, an armored skeleton, one of the newer skeleton versions. Yeah. Yeah, now let's go kill that fair and see what it drops. Arr! I buy a pixie. Buy a pixie. We're gonna wanna go back because I'm pretty sure I had all my money on me. And we're gonna want that back. That's K again. No, I can't pull him in today. Anyways, we're probably going to do some a lot of more mining, folks, but now it's going to be a little. Epic, because now everything's out to kill us, because I know I have on good authority that, uh, that authority being mine, that a little lower we could hit the underground corruption through the elevator, so. How you say, easy come, easy go. Let's get going. We want our stuff. Going back to my stuff, going back to my stuff. There's a pixie nearby. Probably the same one. Mind you. The crystals only spawn in at a certain depth. So don't be expecting them like to be pell-nell everywhere. Two gold coins. Okay, we're gonna wanna head this general direction. Either this way over here or this way over here because it, they spawn in in a V shape they will go like nye, nye. one rung being the corruption and one rung being the underground hollow we want to be in these areas because these areas have some of the best items the corruption in particular we will be visiting a lot for bullets because an item there called cursed flames allows us to make a particularly awesome set of bullets these bullets being powerful enough to Oh dear! A soul of light! Yes! Uh, uh, uh. Uh. Dang it! Wonky mouse! Yes, these enemies, these mobs have become super powerful now.
We're gonna collect all the mushrooms we can because we're now we're going to need potions more than ever. Then we're going to use our access rung. This pink wall, it means you're still in the corrupt. You're still in the hollow zone. Purple will mean you're still in the corruption zone. And axe. Leave the chaos elemental in the dust. Stupid block high run. Yes, as you can see, that's a skeletal archer now. Let's check out the elevator and see if there's any ores that we can nick. Yes, we're now in the corruption zone. Yeah, that's Ebonstone. Now the hollow and the uh, corruption, if they meet, will balance each other out. But against the normal grass, la against the normal land, the normal land stands no chance. Because it's effectively a case of David versus Goliath, but if Goliath had a particle accelerator cannon or something along them lines. Yes, this is not a fun place. But it is, in my opinion, the more useful place. Too bad the elevator doesn't connect to any real caves. Me thrill. Yeah, we can only mine this with a cobalt drill. Yes, not pick. It comes a drill. And oh dear god, look at that worm. Digger. It's a digger. Yeah, let's get out of here, folks. See you up top. Yes, we're gonna want to be in here. Because this looks like a rather useful area. Yes, as you can see, when hard mode hits, it go it hits like a truck. That's a corruptor. We want to handle that now. And I know the light sucks right now, folks. I know it does, but. Oh, one moment. I'm recording. And folks, now we want to get a little out of here. Sorry about that. Yes, you can use your spear to fence them off. Provided you're not as inept at using it as I am. Yes, in hard mode, folks. Bef before you get to Cobalt, you're gonna get ripped up a bit. Many times, violently. The safest... Put it to you this way. Once you hit hard mode, the safest place in the world becomes hell. Yes, hell, which was just eating us alive. Now then, I'm going to see what I... Look at this. Right up. Cobalt we have 21 ingots, which means we can make the Cobalt Sword, which does about 39 damage. Still worse than our Breaker Blade, so we shall keep it. The Naginata. The Drill. This is what we want. Yes. Now then. Pick versus Drill. You always want the Drill. You want to know why? I'll show you why. By digging a little muck in this direction. That, that way the corruption does not come at us. Till a very, very long time. Now then, with making a elevator, we're just going to make a little, another elevator, if you will. See this? This is pathetic for, well, this is a pretty good pick, right? This is the molten pick, the best pick in the game. 
I can say that because the rest of the ores that are out there now only make drills. You wonder why they make drills? That's why they make drills. Because drills are epic. They are ridiculously quick. You can like shear through Ebonstone quite easily. As you can see, with a drill, it is quite awesome. So yes, you want to always uh, prioritize the drill first. Now then, we are going back down. Now that I have a drill, we are going to empty out my inventory as best as I can. We're going to empty out my inventory. And then we are going back down for more items. Because there is just so much I can make. So much to show off in so little time. It's like the game's begun again, folks. Yeah. This has been my fastest playthrough of this, even non-recording wise. I have never, ever gotten this far into Raya this quickly. Oh, dear God. Toxic slime. Yes. Toxic slime. A new slime that will poison you quite viciously if you let it. Oh, yeah, we're probably gonna have to go over there, folks, because judging from that, there's a cave system of considerable size. Yes! Uh, Pearl Stone, which is like Evan Stone, is incredibly hard, but the drill just shoots like. Delightful. Yes, the drill is. Light noise. What is that noise? What is that noise? I'm out of torches. Oh well. We'll just snag this one. It's a zombie. Yes, we want these. These can give us a little. It's a rare drop. But if we can get the. Uh, the uh, talisman of light. Die, you fool. You don't want to be lenient with bullets. These enemies will make bones of you. I, it doesn't matter if you waste a thousand bullets if you save your life. It does, however, become annoying if you keep dying, so... Yes, waste your bullets, even if it's just to flail against one enemy. Yes, uh... While both places have similarly powerful enemies, uh... The underground corruption hits harder, but the enemies in the, uh... Light areas... Like, hit so fast, you have, like, moments to react. They're like, speed, speed, more speed. Side speed and serving of power. The uh, underground corruption dwellers are like are like on steroids. They're so powerful. They will hit. They will take maybe three good hits at you and you're dead. Even at 200 health without armor. That is, if you get if you get all. Okay, another thing we want to prioritize is getting all versions of the armor and keeping them all, just like we kept all the weapons to make the uh, knife's edge. You wish to know why? It's because the uh, armors and weapons and drills all fuse into super items, the best items in the game. The Hallowed Set. In the Hallowed Set, it becomes nigh impossible to You can fight three bosses at the same time and still be relatively okay. We got a light bulb for a moment. Okay, I flailed enough. Let's go up and get some torches and then come back. Gee, I'm so excited, folks. This is like where Terraria truly shows its stuff. This is why you want a elevator. It's quick going up if you have the uh, boots, if you have hover boots or jet boots. 
Well, on second thought, I'm going to get torches off camera, folks. And that's the end of this recording session. If you enjoyed my commentary, like, rate, leave a comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time, folks. And then we'll hit into our second series, Terraria Hard Mode. Thank you. Bye-bye.